You guys have been asking about my setup. So here you go. I'm gonna give you guys all the deets about where I record, what I have in my studio. All the things you wanted to know is gonna be in this video. So I have about four lights in this room. I do not use a ring light. I know a lot of people use it and yes you can. If you do have a ring light, I'll probably say just get yourself a soft box on the side so that can like soften your face. You have one on this side, one on this side. And I'm gonna show you guys guys in a little bit what that looks like but before we move forward I just want to show you guys what I actually look like when I turn off the lights on each side I have two soft box like I said and just to show you guys how essential it is especially if you're really dark skin like I am when I turn off all the lights in this room you guys are not even gonna be able to see me okay even before we got the RGB lights from GVM the two lights that we've always had is definitely the soft box light and that light is also from GVM now I'm gonna demonstrate and show you guys so you can actually see the lights in action okay so this is what I look like recording without one of the lights on I have two lights on the side one one is like more in front of me on the side and then the other one is a little bit back. So now I'm gonna turn off the other lights so you guys can see. You're not even gonna be able to see me to be honest. And then now this is what I look like, a freaking shadow <laughs> with colored lights behind me. And this is what I look like without the lights behind me on, the RGB lights. As you guys can see, this is why I have them on behind me because personally for me now, can I record like this? Probably yes. But for me, it just, it's not doing what I need it to do and I don't like the paint on the wall maybe if you have like a white paint it might look different not it might look different it actually will look different but the the paint behind here is like yellow I don't like it I just don't like it so the lights behind me with the pink and the blue you can put whatever color you choose to when I was recording downstairs in the living room I think I used purple and that worked just fine so it just depends to the environment that you're in this is what works for me right now so this is what it looks like with just the softbox light on the side and without the colored lights on so when I turn all the lights on that's the reason why you see the quality so nice apart from of course the camera okay so the colored lights that I have in the back I keep saying colored lights RGB lights <laughs> I actually have an app on my phone so you download the app and you can literally just sit here and play with whatever colors you want to you don't have to keep getting up I'm gonna turn on the lights again so you guys can see what it looks like I just turned on this one on this side that's the blue one now we're gonna turn on the pink one and now I just turned on the other one okay guys so when you come in the room this is what it looks like as you can see I'm standing by the door so first of all let's start with the actual lights in the room as you can see it's off I usually you know right now it's on off when I'm recording I usually turn the light off but before we actually get to the lights let me show you guys what the room actually looks like this was previously our guest room so as you can see I still have the bed I was gonna take out the bed but I'm like you know what I'm gonna show the real setup and the way it is I don't want this to be like perfection because I want you to be able to like create a space for yourself currently if you let's say you have an empty room or you, let's say you have a guest room you can still leave it as a guest room if you have a bigger room than this you can still set something on the side where it's still easy for you to record right for me this room is already so small like I'm actually grateful that I even have it to be honest but it is still very small for it to be like a full-blown studio right these lights are all from GVM so two of them this is the soft box um, lights these are the RGB lights we have two of that we got these from Adorama and I think my husband got this from I don't know maybe Best Buy or the GVM no 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 actually the GVM website so this thing we got from Ikea just kind of like a prop you know it's behind me this is where I sit <laughs> this is the table that I usually have in front of me with my laptop and just like everything else these things have nothing to do with like recording none of that but it's just on the table. I need to film like content with them, but I have my iPad just in case I need it. Sometimes I'll use the laptop as you guys can see in previous videos of me like doing a screen recording, or I can use my iPad if I have like notes that I wanna take down, or I can use my iPad if I have notes that I wanna write down. I'll also just brainstorm on the iPad and also I can look at my notes real quick so I don't forget any points that I wanna say in the video. This light, we got it from Amazon. So this stuff I actually got it years ago. I think TJ Maxx, we just just put it right there the light the fake plants he got from Amazon this I got from TJ Maxx and these things Tommy got it from Amazon this is the camera that I use to record this is the Sony a6400 I have the Rode mic 
right there. You can honestly use this camera without the mic, but when you have a microphone, it just takes your audio quality to the next level. I have a mirror right in front of me. This is just so I like to check my face because I have recorded some videos where I'm like very oily on my forehead or like around my nose area over here. And also I tend to have like these white things that show up here. I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Super annoying. And I always like to check the way I look in between things that I'm saying because my throat gets really dried. I have to drink water. You just never know how you're looking. When you say something, you say a couple of things, you can look at yourself, make sure you're good and keep recording. Okay, so again, one last time. This is what the room looks like when I come all the way on this side. Camera in front of me, my chair, my table, my two lights, one on that side, one on this side. And then I have the RGB lights. I use two different colors because I feel like it complements my skin way better. Also, don't forget to have tissue in your, you know, little place because you never know. All of a sudden, you might just have a runny nose out of nowhere, which is so crazy to me. So as you guys can see, nothing perfect. You really just got to find what works best for you. Before we decided to actually change the room from a guest room to a studio, I used to record my videos downstairs in the living room. The Sony ZV-1F review that I did was downstairs in the living room. Put the camera right in front of me, put my table, put my lights, and I recorded. I did a couple of videos also in my bedroom where there's this wall. I got like a backdrop and I put it right there, set up everything, and recorded. So to be honest, you don't need like a specific room, like a dedicated room for you to record. Don't get me wrong, it is so annoying for you to always have to like unpack and pack because that's literally what we used to do. We have kids in this house, so if we do not pack these lights, they're gonna play with it, drop it, spoil it and these things cost a lot of money so we always had to pack it up and it was just like so much work now when I'm done recording I just turn off the lights close the door and I go about my business go sit down edit my videos also I can sit right here and just edit my videos after I'm done recording so to be honest it's like my studio and my office in one so yeah I cannot wait to get to the space where I actually have a big ass room and I can like really decorate it the way I want to but for now like I said I'm gonna use this and use it to the best of my knowledge and I want you guys to do the same thing okay your bedroom dining room your living room somewhere in your house in your apartment whatever it is that you have right now just set something up and just record your videos if you do not have kids even better you don't have to take things down when you record just leave it right there because you're always gonna be sitting there anyway some of my other videos like when I really start posting my skincare content my day in my life videos and stuff like that I'm gonna be filming that in my bedroom I do have like a vanity setup in my bedroom um i have the lights in there and everything so you guys are gonna see a couple of videos in there let me actually go show you guys what that looks like okay guys so this is my other setup okay my vanity area this is what it looks like now i'm gonna sit there and just show you guys what it actually looks like when i turn on the lights okay now i'm sitting here and all you can see is my dark self and my shiny ass forehead i'm gonna turn on the vanity light this is the vanity light on it's currently on low so let's put it on high and this is what it looks like on high all the way high all right let me put the camera right here so you guys can really see me now i have these lights on the side over here and over here and it actually comes with like a diffuser so it's not like really harsh on your face so now i'm gonna turn it on and show you guys what it looks like on okay one side on this face okay and as you can see this is where it gets me yeah so pretty much now you can really see me as a dark person you just need like so much lights and of course i have a light on top of the camera but to be honest the other lights help so much more and even in this room when i'm recording to be honest i will turn off the overhead lights if i need to um i have this like room lamp that i got from amazon it does help a lot with like you know adding some light to my content but yeah this is where I usually record my videos for my TikTok, my skincare content, because I'm really into that. You guys are going to see more videos from me. The studio, I use it more for like professional, professional videos where I'm teaching you guys stuff. I'm showing you guys stuff that I am also learning myself and things that I have researched and things that I have watched. But over here is really just when I want to play with stuff, skincare, you know, I'm learning how to do makeup, that too. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video because, you know, I've had a couple of people who 
people texted me and they're like, oh my gosh, your setup. Um, or even in the comment section, a couple of people have said your setup is really nice or your camera is so crispy. What camera do you use? So like I said, I do use the Sony a6400 to film my sit down videos. The ones that I do of me sharing like content tips and tricks, the vlogs and other things like that. I will be using my Sony ZV-1F to film that because it's more like small and compact and stuff like that. But peace out and I will see you guys in the next video.